Hazen Day and welcome to today's edition of Editorial to broadcast from Canada. My name is Sandra Asante. Today we'll be drawing deep consent on Tigray forces vowing warm welcoming face of new offensive as well as Amhara officials saying offensive against Tigray forces being imminent. Don't go nowhere, I'll be back after the break. You're welcome back from the break. Thank you so much for staying with me. We're starting off with the warm welcome of the Tigray forces, the vowing of Ethiopia's spread in Tigray conflict faced a dangerous escalation on Friday as an Amhara of regional official said Amhara forces will launch an offensive on Saturday against Tigray forces who have entered the region and taken control of a town hosting the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So this is the time for the Amhara people to crush the forces. Samia Tarune, that is the Amara regional head of the peace and security, told the regional state affiliated Amara Media Corporation, everyone should come forward and defend themselves. In response to this, Tigray um, Forces spokesman Gatachar Rida told the Associated Press that we will extend a warm welcome. The conflict threatens to destabilize Africa's second most populous country, where thousands of people have already been killed in the nine-month war. In a phone interview, Get the Child said Tigray forces have crossed into Amhara region and the Afar region as well in the recent weeks in an attempt to break the blockade that Ethiopian's government has imposed on Tigray. Hundreds of thousands of people also face famine condition and the United Nations and the United States this week sent a high level officials to Ethiopia to urge more access for aid. We have to deal with everyone who is still shooting. This is what the um, the Tigray People's Liberation Front spokesperson gets a child said that if this takes marching to Addis Ababa to silence the guns, we will. But I hope you will not have to. Civilians shouldn't fear. He said in response to the allegation by ethnic Amara that the Tigray forces have carried out attacks. We are not after Amara territory or the people of Amara as long as they are not shooting at our people, we will have no problem. Get a shower state at this one. So separately, Ethiopian's foreign ministry warned that the Tigray forces incursion into Amhara and Nafar is testing the federal government's patience and pushing it to change its defensive mood, which has been taken for the sake of unilateral humanitarian ceasefire currently in effect. The incursion have displaced some 300,000 people, it said. Ethiopian also could deploy the entire defensive capability of the state if all venture for a peaceful resolution to the conflict are not reciprocated. These statements further stated, the Prime Minister donated blood this week for the military and urged Ethiopians to do the same, following on the military recruitment rallies in the capital and elsewhere. Ethiopia declared a ceasefire in late June during the stunning turn in the war and its military retreated from Tigray and resurgent Tigray forces retook key towns and walking to the regional capital, Mekele, two cheers. The conflict erupted in Tigray in uh, November after the falling out between the Prime Minister Abiy Yamed and the ruling party, the Tigray People's Liberation Front, that has dominated Ethiopia's government for nearly three decades. Since then, thousands of people have been killed. A new offensive by the Amara regional forces would go against the federal government's command all federal and regional civil and military institutions are ordered to respect the ceasefire, Ethiopia said in its declaration in June. While the United Nations and the United States raised the alarm about the Ethiopian government continuing near complete blockage of the Tigray region and its six million people, the Tigray forces have vowed to secure the 
regional uh, the region as well as pursue its enemies they have to say the prime minister needs to go as one of several preconditions for talks i personally would want him to go but it is not for us to topple him the tigray forces spokesman said to the prime minister about this one he said we are not interested in occupying the corridors of power in Addis ababa despite international pressure for an immediate ceasefire by all parties gata chow said the tigray forces in talks with partners have rejected the idea of holding discrete talks with ethiopian's government if Abi wants peace, he has to come out in public. He has to lift the blockade, the spokesman further stated this one. So Gata Chow also confirmed that the Tigray forces aim in the Afar region is to control crucial supply line to the rest of Ethiopia from neighboring Djibouti. On the major shipping lane, he called it part of the game, saying... People in Tigray are starving and it is not to spite the other parts of Ethiopia. He said, we will cut off supply lines, but we will also allow civilian supplies. Don't worry about that. So in their most visible offensive yet, the Tigray forces on Thursday entered the Amara town of Lalibela, a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its Rockwin churches. One resident uh, told the Associated Press they arrived peacefully. Amara Regional Spokesman Gisachao Mulene on Friday said the terror group had entered the town is being rooted uh, by the public and also the Ethiopian army. Several of them have now surrendered. He added, so Ethiopian's government earlier this year declared the um, Tigray, he claimed this one, that the Tigray People's Liberation Front is a terrorist group instead of a political party. But UNESCO on Friday expressed concerns about expansion of the conflict into Lalibela. We don't want uh, first-hand information on any actual damage being done. The UN spokesman Fehan um, has told the reporters so the conflict has strained living conditions for millions of ethiopians and more across the country now fear it will affect them as well there is a serious suffering in tigray the tigray forces had an opportunity to stop military offensive um towards um Terfe with the Amara Association of America told the AP instead they kept on pushing ethiopia's prime minister uh, repeated his commitment to the unilateral ceasefire just days ago. UN humanitarian chief Martin Griffiths told reporters on Friday after his meeting with Abby that I have no reason to doubt that at all. Griffiths said this one, but regional forces vowing a new offensive could be another matter. As the Tigray forces push on, they have become the focus of increasing warnings from the UN and the US are made pleas for the immediate ceasefire and peace talks without conditions so right now we will look at the amaris official you know saying offensive against tigray forces be eminent so the month uh, long conflict in tigray faces a fresh wave of fighting as an amara regional official says amara forces will launch an offensive on saturday against Tigrayan forces who have entered the region and taken control of town hosting the unesco world heritage site so this is the time for the amara people to crash this uh, terrorist group, the, C the Sema Terune, the Amara's head of the peace security, told the regional state affiliated Amhara Media Corporation on Friday. So, this is the time for Amara people to crash. That's what he explained by this. So, the Ethiopian government declared a unilateral ceasefire late in June during a stunning turn in the war, and it's a military um, retreated from Tigray, and the resurgence of the um, Tigray forces also we took some um regions as well as the capital the mckelly this is where i end today's editorials thank you so much for watching my name is sandra asante do have a blessed day